Hello guys and welcome for another New World Eternum video. In today's one I will show you how the crafting system in the game works, how you can achieve the best crafts possible and of course what is necessary for you to craft the 700 gear score items which are currently the highest gear score in the game. I will give you the TLDR at the very beginning and then I will explain into further details how you can achieve all of the different things. Take a quick note that today we will take a look at armoring and jewel crafting but the same system and the same methods are applied to the weaponsmithing, engineering and arcana. All the systems in the game related to the crafting professions are working the same way so whatever is on this one it will be the same for the others as well. Without further ado, let's take a quick dive into the outfitting station which is just behind me and see how this works. Upon reaching the outfit station in any city, you will see that there is a lot of different possibilities for crafting. There is probably hundreds of recipes, but of course you will open all of them once you reach the maximum level, which currently is at 250. The best way to maneuver with this search bar, or at least this is my method, is to just simply go for the item that you want to craft and just look for it. The one way is to just type the name of the item, for example spin weave, and this you find like all of the light gears that can be crafted at level 250 but if you don't know the names there is another quick tool and quick way to do it let's assume that we want to craft light boots with intelligence then i can just close those main bars until i reach the timeless shard intelligence section and now when i have the main category of intelligence i can go into the subcategories until i find myself the different armor pieces from here on we have few different options for light pieces of gear and as you can see we already have boots but unfortunately those boots are only crafted with timeless shards. There is no golden scarabs, no armor matrix or no azot inductors which means that those boots will never be able to reach uh, 700 gear score because even if we use the higher tier of materials those recipes are just not meant to be to reach 700. There are few different recipes that can reach 700 gear score or to be more specific there are just two of them. The one is with golden scarabs and armor matrix which will allow your craftings to choose two different perks. For example I can choose accelerated traps and let's say health. Of course putting a little bit of azot will guarantee the dirt perk and of course the gem slot. However, in this recipe, you currently don't see 700 because I didn't use the food, but in those recipes you cannot guarantee the third perk. Of course they are cheaper if you look at the materials, but the other one which guarantees all of the crafts is a bit more expensive. So if we go on the next one, which currently is unavailable because I don't have all of the necessary items, if I slot again all the different um, materials and then choose three random perks, this time you will see that I can guarantee all the three perks. I again have 685 because I didn't eat the food. But this time, like I said, the difference is the three guaranteed perks plus the very high chance of obtaining a gem slot, which most likely will be the case. However, this recipe, as you can see and as mentioned from the previous one, it requires quite a lot of materials. For example, for this one we need 70 prismatic cloth, 60 prismatic leather and 20 prismatic ingots, while on the previous one, where we can only choose 2 perks, we need just 5, 3 and 1 from the respective items. And here comes the question, do we want to craft with armor matrix which is the cheaper variation or do we want to craft with azot inductor which is guaranteeing our three perks of choice but of course it's way more expensive and restrictive. Well the choice is yours, the armor matrix as an item can be crafted by anyone and it can be found on the shop so you can buy it, sell it or whatever you want to do with it. The golden scarabs serve the same purpose as they can be also gathered around the world, they can be sold on the marketplace and you can make a fortune with them as well. However, when we look at the azot inductor, you can see that it says bind on pickup. This is due to the fact that the azot inductor can be bought once a week from the faction vendor at a cost of 25,000 gold and you cannot buy more than those. However, if you find yourself someone who can craft you the azot inductor craft, you can just pay him for the work and then he can just trade you the item as the crafted item is not bind on pickup and it's tradable to everyone. Now when we saw how the crafting works and which are the recipes that can net us a 700 gear score pieces, let's go over the deeper details on how to achieve those crafts, what exactly do we need 
and how many different items are included in those craftings. The first and most important part is of course to get your armorer set. There are two different types of it and for the many professions in New World there is two variations. You need an armorer hat, armorer chest piece, gloves, pants and boots. As you can see they are from different sets because of their quality level as those are rare and those are epic. However the only thing that matters here is the two armorer crafted items quality bonus that you receive from them. As you can see there is no difference on any of the pieces regardless of their different quality and of course you at total get 10 armorer quality crafting items. The next piece that you need as a set is the earring which also provides plus 5 to armorer crafted items. This gives you a total of plus 15 to all the crafted items and this includes all the different equip loads in light, medium and heavy gear. The next piece in the puzzle that you need in order to achieve those high level crafts is the food. In this case the spicy cabbage soup is the one that will provide you an additional 15 quality to all the armors crafted by you. However, this is not enough because we need a lot more in order to reach the 700 gear score crafts. The next piece of the puzzle is your trophy. You can have 3 trophies in 3 separate houses, in this case I have a house in Monarch's Bluff, Everfall and Brimstone. However, you don't see an armorer trophy because I already have my ultimate ones, but as you can see from the description, the Arcana, Weaponsmithing, Engineering and Armoring plus jewel crafting because armoring is considered for both is giving a total of plus 5 gear score increase whenever you craft in those stations. So in total to conclude you need 3 trophies which have to be major in order to obtain the next plus 15 points. The last piece of the puzzle is the different towns which can provide bonuses to all their citizens. In this case I have a house in Everfall and as you can see there is two active town projects that are currently going. The first one is Arcanist Wisdom and the second one is Arborer Inspiration. This means that from those two bonuses I'm getting a plus 5 to all the different crafts. This all is necessary for you to obtain the chance to craft a 700 gear score item. There is one exception where you can use it in two different ways and this is if the fort of Morningdale is under the control of your faction. As you can see the faction bonus for whoever holds the fort is global crafting bonus plus 5. This can mean that you can technically save up from having a earring or maybe a town buff but you can also use that in another direction because if you go to craft something you can simply choose the lower tier material which is way more cheaper. In this case if we assume that the prismatic cloth goes for around 200 gold the phoenix weave goes around 30 gold. So as you can see the gear score it would change from 610 to 615 exactly 5 gear score difference. Assuming that we have all the different pieces in order to craft the 700 gear score and the fort of Morningdale is under our control you can always choose to save some money from the secondary or the third tier of materials as you craft your items. And with that I think we covered the basics that are necessary for us to craft the highest gear score in New World the Turnum. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the same methods are applied to the other crafting professions and in general all crafting professions are using this system. Crafting in armoring, jewel crafting, weaponsmithing, arcana and engineering is working the same way. If you have any questions or any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below and I will gladly answer and help you. If you want to join my discord community server or you want to catch me live while streaming, also feel free to join the description so you can find the necessary links. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a nice trip in Aeternum and I will see you on the next one.